all right we got a 2006 uh jeep commander gonna try to get to the wiring on the uh starter there so right now i'm on the bottom here so let me set this up where i can actually turn it up just like that so it's got 13s so i finally get to use my 13s this one you don't take them all out you can just slide it forward Yep, sorry. Got a couple more here. Uh, one more. This. Take this one out. Okay, these are loose. Almost. Yep, that's loose. Yep, good. Just checking to make sure it's recording. So there's number two. Now we just slide it back, I mean forward, if it lets me, there we go, alright. Okay, let's see, it looks like we got a bit of a leak here. Is it from the top? Uh, it kind of looks like it. Uh, maybe not. Actually, looks like this has been leaking a little bit right here. Anyway, once you get the uh, um, cover, we have access to the uh, wiring right here. The battery is already disconnected, so. What I'm gonna do is get in here and just try to clean this for now. It's still pretty hot. Well, been cold enough for a little bit. But yeah, once you get the panel out, it's a lot of excess right underneath. However, on the jack, this is a three-ton jack, and I still had to use two pieces of wood. The uh, jack stands is behind it on the metal. This is the metal piece here, and I barely got this thing. To lift a little bit so I can get in here so if you have an extended uh, jack for a bigger car that's gonna be useful this is the first time I'm doing anything taller or higher than a regular car so let's get this stuff going here so it looks like let me see if I can light this up I know I had the flashlight on me somewhere. There we go. So we get the nut, the cable here, this is one and then another behind it. So I'm gonna plug this one, throw in my uh, wire from the top, uh, from the battery directly so we can test it and make sure it's not this versus the relay or something else. Um, his, the, the issue is he's been having problems with it starting. Doesn't want to start. I already cleaned the uh, top uh, connections and the grounds up there. So I want to clean these ones and see what's going on. The car doesn't have a lateral mileage. It's like a 90,000. I know it's under 100. Um, so this looks okay, but well, that's pretty hot so I can see why they might go bad right next to the uh, block here anyways that's the plan so let me see if I can get a good spot for you this here yeah, pretty good right there I think so let me 
get that one plug. What's uh, going on? Well, okay, watch your eyes. This thing is crumbling because of the heat. It just comes right off. As you can see, I think I hope. So, okay, we got rid of that one. Try to move it, but it looks like it's stuck to the other one there because it melted the uh, the heat melted the uh, shielding here. See, so you can see it just falls apart. So I I got some more out here. I can put some more here. So there's the ground wire there. Just trying to see where all the ground wires are for this car. Let's try and get this one out. I think it just pulls up. Yep. So that's that. Um, so I'm just gonna take them off, clean them, put them back, and then um, check the car that way. It's been turning on because you already had it on, so and I'm just gonna do that. Uh, fucking. Not so much for that one. That looks like a 13 again. But I need my extended ratchet here. Okay, that nut was not very tight, but first time I'm actually getting to use this long double-sided ratchet, which is cool. Okay, I hope the camera is catching that because that's the best I can do here. Oh, I see what this is. It says fusible link on it. Okay, yellow wire is the solenoid power there for uh, ignition, I think. Then there's a power wire with a fusible link on it. That's a brown wire. The, the main power is red. And that's a 13 millimeter, by the way. So that's kind of interesting. I've never used a 13. Well, yeah, I have. Don't mind me, guys. I'm thinking that loud. All right. There's that. Yeah, it's a little cool. Let me put on my glasses here. I don't want any of this stuff coming into my eye. Oops. Ow. Ow. I'm doing this on my back on the floor, by the way. And uh, just looking at this chunk of metal box can be kind of scary to look at. 
But as long as you're safe and you do everything right, you should be okay. It's not gonna go past the ground. The wheels are still on. <laughs> I think I need new glasses because these things are all it's hard to see through them. They're all scratched. But actually we actually made it to Vegas and back on this car so it it'll make it, that's for sure. Well, Super Bowl was this past weekend. They won LA won. And it's funny because it was a summer day. Then we got a winter day. It got cold, a lot of wind. We had snow in, there was snow in Pasadena or hail. And now it's 70 degrees again. It's just some crazy weather. And I'm just going to talk to you guys because uh, I don't even put music on there. Normally I don't even talk, but hey, I don't want to get bored. <laughs> All right, let's get this guy over here. That leak is coming from. I see a little bit of a leak. I was on the uh, Mazda 3 yesterday and I found out the uh, oil pan screws were kind of were not even tight. So I had to go tight, tighten them all. So I might have to do that on here just to check them because I do see a little bit of oil and it looks like it is from the pan. So I'll just give that a snug. about to throw some uh, electronic clear but because the car is still warm I don't want to throw it on the uh, exhaust it's cool now but it's still warm up there so I'm just gonna leave that alone just because this is still warm here so we'll leave it at that let me put it back check it Let's see if it works any better Kind of loose well not loose but it wasn't even tight too tight so we're gonna give it a little snug not too much of course Check the uh, the pan bolts here. 
So you can see a little leak there. So it looks like it could be the pan bolts. Oh, let's check those. Leave this on the bottom here. Hola, buenas, buenos días. Mira aquí, jugando. ¿Cómo? Oh no, muévelo ahí, no hay problema, sí. Me lo dejaron todo choco. No, no hay problema, gracias. Alright, are these babies gonna be loose? Nope. 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 Yes. That one is. I can't get yeah I can. It's kinda loose, yep. Need it a little bit. A little more. Yep. Need it a little bit. Right. Let's see what we got here. Nope. That's good. Nope. A little bit. I can't get in here. Oh, that's a that's a tough one. Okay, yep, tighten down. So, yeah, those are a bit loose. Uh, I need the flashlight. So, okay, X is that one or that one. I did tighten that one, so. And a couple of the other ones here one, two, three, I think it was. So what is this thing here? Oh. I'm not sure if that comes off with this whole thing or not. But I did tighten a couple, so hopefully that'll help. Try to see. We can take these off so I can get in there, but I'm not sure. Okay, we're gonna leave it alone for now. All right, the good news is the uh, uh, not that good news. The good news is starters here. The bolts are still behind it, and of course you got the oxygen sensor right there. But once you get the socket in there, I guess it should be fine. If I need to take it out. Um, kind of want to clean that ground too. Let me go ahead and do that. Okay. Trying to figure out where to put the camera here. Just leave it. Right there, I guess. Aquí vamos, ya lo limpié, no es que quiero limpiar otro uh, cable que está aquí. Deje de ver. Y ahorita lo probamos. Este anda, anda liqueando un poquito la pana, creo, de aquí abajo, donde atrás. 
ya le solté un poquito los tornillos que le pude agarrar aquí. ¿Este qué es aceite o qué? Sí, aceite. ¿Aceite? Oh. Sí, entonces porque parece que ya andaba un poquito flojo de aquí, pero tiene un pedazo de hierro aquí. Ajá. No puedo agarrar los otros. Pero deje de ver esto. Son 13, 14. ¿Le pasa la cajita roja esa? ¿La cajita roja? Sí. Una cajita roja que está ahí. ¿No? Son unos dados, gracias. Quiero limpiar eso, ya que estoy aquí. estaba no estaba socado este tampoco no no pues estaban, no estaban muy socados los tornillos oh. ah, por eso lo estoy revisando porque si están sucios no están socados no sí. con el tiempo se aflojan sí, eso sí. pero ya lo saqué y ahorita lo limpio Es que está calientito todavía. Sí, todavía, ¿no? Sí. O sea, ya aquí más para arriba del motor sí está caliente. Sí.
Mira cómo está aquí la daza. Ahí está la foto. Ahorita la vi. Pero ahorita pongo esto y lo probamos y si queda igual, pues lo sacamos, no hay problema. Sí, claro. Pero hay que hacerlo esto primero porque si no le puede cambiar y queda igual. Sí, ya. 